Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. We're gonna be doing a video with the real reason American healthcare is so expensive. Uh, it should be a, a very interesting video, so I'm gonna check it out right now. Um, I'm not sure what it's gonna be about, but I, I really wanna know, because I just did a video about the healthcare and people are being uh, shocked about it. You can see a link over here on this side of the screen. You can just click on that and you guys can watch that video. So uh, subscribe to this channel, it's Foreign Reacts. That We're trying to get to 6,000 subscribers. Foreign Reacts is really a channel that does everything that is foreign to the reactor. So this is not necessarily a huge foreign to me, obviously, but since I've been comparing healthcare with America and um, the European healthcare, I'm going to be checking out this video. So let's get right into it. I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with this chart. It shows exactly what is wrong with America's conversation about healthcare. Uh, on one level, you've seen this chart before. It shows healthcare spending as a share of the economy of, of a bunch of countries. There's Germany and France and Japan and Canada and oh, there's America. But now I wanna add something you haven't seen to this chart. This is how much of that spending in each country is private and how much is public. Here's what's amazing. America's government spending on healthcare, on programs like Medicaid and Medicare and the VA, our versions of socialized medicine, it's about the same size as these other countries. These countries where the government runs the whole healthcare system. And then there's our private spending. It's the private insurance system that makes healthcare in America so expensive. Conventional like, wisdom says the government is more expensive than the private sector. It, it can't say no, it's corrupt, it's inefficient, it's slow. You want something done right, you give it to the private sector. That is what we hear in America all the time. And yet here we are with the biggest private sector spending the most. Why is a free market so bad at controlling the cost of healthcare in the United States? If you look at the data on physician visits and hospital discharges, you can get rid of one theory. Americans don't consume more healthcare than people in these other countries. We don't go to the doctor more than the Germans or the Japanese. In fact, we go to the doctor less. The difference between us and them is that we pay more. Every time we go to the doctor for everything from an angioplasty to a hip replacement, from a C-section to a pain reliever, in America, the price for the same procedure at the same hospital, it varies enormously depending on who is footing the bill. The price for someone with public insurance like Medicare or Medicaid is often the lowest price. These groups, they cover so many people that the government can demand lower prices from hospitals and doctors and they get those lower prices. If the doctors and hospitals say no, they lose a ton of business. They lose all those people on Medicare, all those people on Medicaid. But there are hundreds of private insurance companies and they each cover far fewer people than a Medicare or a Medicaid. And each one has to negotiate prices with hospitals and doctors on their own. And if you're uninsured, you have even less leverage. Nobody is negotiating on your behalf. So you end up paying the highest price. One study found that most hospitals charge uninsured patients four times as much as Medicare patients for an ER visit. Other countries, they, they don't have this problem. Instead of every private insurance company negotiating with every healthcare provider, there's just this big list. Country, the central government, they go and they say, if you want to sell to us, to all of our people, then here's what you can charge for a checkup. Here's what you can charge for an MRI or a prescription for Lipitor. And so then whether that bill goes to the heavily regulated private insurance companies in Germany or directly to the government, like in the UK, each country is telling the doctor or hospital or drug company how much that bill will be. And because the government controls access to all of the customers, it's an offer that hospitals and doctors and pharmaceutical companies typically can't refuse. I'm gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. In America, the, the idea is that you'll be a consumer, that you'll do what you do when you go to Best Buy and buy a television. But that just doesn't work in healthcare. It doesn't work in healthcare because you often come and get healthcare when you're unconscious in an ambulance, when you're scared, when it's for your spouse or your child. It is a time when you have the least bargaining power. You are not usually capable of saying no. You're not knowledgeable enough to do it, you're not comfortable doing it, or you're not conscious enough to do it. That's why in other countries, the government is a person who can say no for you, who can say no, that's too expensive, you're gonna have to lower your price because they do have that power. They do. A new push for single-payer health care oh. right here in the U.S. California and others are saying maybe we should adopt the European model. If we decided to create a single-payer system with one of these huge price lists in the U.S., there'd be nothing to stop lobbying from hospitals, from doctors, from drug companies, and those prices would get influenced. So we could end up with a single-payer system that is expensive, even as expensive as our current system. It all depends on how much you negotiate down the prices. And now in America, these groups have so much power because they are so rich that it's really hard to get them to bring down the prices. This is the irony of America 
American healthcare. It's so expensive that it's become hard to make it cheaper. All that money they make, that becomes political power. And years and years and years of overpaying, those are huge industries now. And they have a lot of influence in Congress. Under a single payer system, if we did drive prices down, doctors and hospitals, they would be paid less than they are right now. That might mean some of them close or some go out of business or some move. It would be really painful. One person's waste is another person's essential service or local hospital or their income. But then single payer, it's not an all or nothing choice. For instance, there's a really interesting section of Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill where he lays out this interim plan. It's a plan he wants while he's setting up his new single payer system. And in that plan, he expands Medicare to cover vision and dental, and he opens it to nearly everyone, not just people 65 and older. All kids go on Medicare automatically and most adults can buy in. That plan on its own, it wouldn't get American healthcare spending far down overnight, but it would at least begin to recognize what we already know and what most other countries already do. That healthcare is one of those things the government can do cheaper and better than the private sector. They can, they just won't. <laughs> Big difference, you know? Big difference. So I don't really pay attention to it. Like, uh, as an American, uh, I think all you got to do is just get your stuff together, uh, manage your finances as best as possible because you're stuck in that situation. They, America will never change from being who it is because that's just what's going to make America powerful. If America was supposed to conform and be like the European countries, they would say to themselves, we won't have this strong military, we won't have the ability to just say we have so many billionaires, we don't have this, we don't have that. Eh. It's kind of just crazy, bro. To be honest, it's kind of crazy with all the healthcare situation, but I don't really get into all of that. But um, for the people who have a have no problem with it, good for you. If you have a problem with it, I definitely understand why you would have a problem with the American healthcare system. Definitely. I think even with the taxes and all of that kind of stuff, like there are so many loopholes in America to avoid taxes. And like, I, I could not, I cannot even get into that right now. There are, there are way too many loopholes, like so many, right? And that's one of the reasons why I told a lot of people that it's the easiest place to become rich in America, as long as you know how to bypass a certain and certain and certain type of stuff. It's not that it's easy to make it in America, it's that you can bypass a lot of stuff. There are loopholes, like I'm telling you, so many loopholes. And that's the reason why these billionaires are so rich. That's why they're so rich, right? But um, that's that, guys. I hope y'all enjoy, man. And this was kind of, it's depressing to hear about the healthcare system. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But either way, I wanna hear guys. Peace.